we are at the UFC Veteran Athlete Summit to discuss like what could be in the future for you as an athlete once uh, fighting is all said and done. Uh, how has uh, the summit so far uh, appealed to you and your senses as a fighter and looking ahead to what could be next? Well, it's just been a great opportunity to come here. I mean, it's a, it, the UFC is a, you know, they flew us out here and they put this entire thing together. So it's it's really awesome to see the company looking at our futures because there's a fact we're not going to fight forever. So we, we, there's no choice. We have to think about our future. And a lot of the someone is discussed about. I mean, it's not something we want to think about, but you better start thinking about it. And uh, I'm fortunate through my family. They own a restaurant business through my life, and I started a gym five years ago. It all kind of melded together because I started thinking about my future. And for me, it helped my, my fighting career because I was uh, I was able to go in and give my best performances now because I'm not so worried about my future. I feel like I'm already setting things up for my future. And I think that's really what the UFC is getting at. It's like, yeah, if these guys can know that they're going to be OK and know they're going to take care of themselves, now they can go out into that cage and give it everything they got. And I mean, that's, that's what we really need to focus on. And it's just there's a lot of great education here. And it's not just talking about our finances and business in the future, but also our emotions and kind of how, how we're dealing with things right now, because I'm sure for some guys have been doing this their whole life, you know, all of a sudden you're, you're gonna have to like, what do you mean I'm not gonna fight forever? And it's just like, that's a reality you have to deal with. And uh, for me, I've, I went through a lot of ups and downs in my career and, you know, I've been doing this for 17 years and I've been uh, fortunate enough to filter a lot of this out. So for me to come to this, there was one message I get, you know, listen for something you don't know. And, you know, there's so many good speakers here that, yeah, I'm going to take some, some good tools back with me and uh, apply it to my everyday life. Did you ever think that your career would have gone this long? I, I, I kind of just take things of a come, like, I kind of learned young in my career that there was going to be ups and downs. And just to really never um, put those expectations on things of, like, okay, I'm definitely going to fight this long. I just kind of really try to keep an open mind, and I feel like... I. You know, it was a couple of years ago when, you know, a couple of years ago, I didn't know if I was going to keep fighting. Uh, I was at this point in my career where I wasn't sure how things were going to go. And because of the team I have around me and, and um, the place that I've got myself, I've been able to go and like, yeah, I, I can definitely see myself fighting another a few more years. But I'm also very happy with where I'm going to go. I know that fighting is not going to define who I am anymore. It's a part of me. It's part of made me who I am. But I feel like some of my... Uh, my greatest uh, gifts back to the plan are going to be after I'm done fighting. So that's what I'm looking forward to. You mentioned the gym, you mentioned the restaurant. Uh, do you feel like these are both opportunities for you that you, you could help like run the family business or will it be the gym? Which of the two is more appealing to you as far as what you'll do when you hang them up? That's kind of funny because we're actually in the midst of kind of putting it together. So. Uh, uh, it's very fulfilling for me because the, the gym, to see it change people's lives. And uh, with like a cafe and a restaurant, you, you can you, know, you make people happy. So I think they're really good things in that aspect. And, uh, you know, it's something that I have a, a great wife and uh, I've got a really good team around me. And we do it together and, and it just makes a very enjoyable experience right now. And as far as the knee injury, I mean, how is that healing up? When can we expect you back? Well, here I am. I'm walking on it. It's getting better. <laughs> It's, uh, you know, I, I was in surgery in the beginning of September, so I'm just, uh, you know, just a little bit over two months post-op. So we're, we're looking forward to an end of March, April return. And, uh, you know, just right now I'm getting back to training. I just started training again, get, get back into shape, and hopefully we can accept the fight right at the beginning of the year and you'll see me back in that cage and on my way to the UFC heavyweight title. Is there anybody particularly that you're looking forward to? Kane and Verdum are going to fight at the end of the year, and I would like to, to fight one of them. You know, just somebody that's ranked in front of me, and there's only four guys ranked in front of me right now. So, yeah, I think a fight with one of them is is, is what I'm hoping for, and uh, just just one of the one of the guys ranked in front of me. Somebody's going to propel me into that title fight. Last thing for me, what's been the biggest takeaway from the different speakers that you've seen here today at the UFC Veteran Athlete Summit? Uh, there's also some exciting names to come. Uh, Bart Scott's there and a couple other NFL uh, former players. So is there anybody particular you're looking forward to seeing speak or anything in particular that you've really taken away from the summit so far? Yeah, like I said, I don't want to cut it short. We've still got over, uh, I feel like, half the summit are still to go. But, um, yeah, just that one quote, you know, just – Try to listen for something you don't know yet, and uh, that's what this is all about. You know, that's why they brought us in here. And uh, again, just thank the UFC for bringing us here, and it's a great opportunity. And 
Um, looking for the rest of it. Great. Well, best of luck and thank you for the time. Good luck on that knee and healing it up quick. Thank you so much. Thank you.